Australia's biosecurity system plays a crucial role in maintaining market access for our livestock and plant industries. Farm biosecurity covers a range of practices that help to keep Australian livestock and crops free of disease, pests and weeds. This short video provides a practical overview of some farm biosecurity measures you can implement as part of your daily routine to minimise the risks associated with feral and wild animals and invasive weed species. Feral and wild animals can impact on production by damaging fences, attacking livestock and destroying plants. They can also carry disease, pests and weeds onto and around your property. Work with neighbours and other producers to develop a wild and feral animal control program. We've been using protective netting now for a number of years. We'll be increasing the amount of netting we put up to help protect our crops from cockatoos, from bats and from hay. Uh, since erecting the nets, we've found that we're far more profitable than we were in the past. Again, we're, we're getting higher pack outs out of our, our product. Protect feed and water sources and regularly inspect and mend broken fences. Ensure farm buildings and storage facilities, such as silos and feed bins, are in good repair to prevent feral and pest animals from finding areas to breed in. Dispose of any carcasses properly and promptly so they don't attract wild and feral animals. Weeds are significant biosecurity problems in their own right, as well as being alternative hosts for some agricultural and horticultural pests. They can also make livestock sick. Establish a weed management plan for your property, which should consider eradicating, containing or managing weeds currently on your property and address ways to prevent introducing new species. When buying anything that could be contaminated with weed seeds, request a certificate from your supplier which declares that their products are weed free. Check areas along tracks and roads, in and around animal holding areas, vehicle washdown facilities and visitor parking areas for signs of weeds. Treat them before they have a chance to grow and produce seed. If you think that a weed might be resistant to a particular herbicide, use an alternative type of control measure or class of herbicide next time to ensure effective treatment occurs. The earlier an unusual weed is detected, the higher the chance of being able to eradicate it or implement effective control measures. Volunteer or unmanaged plants can harbour pests or diseases between seasons, potentially causing early reinfection of the following year's crop. Ensure crop destruction and follow-up controls. Remove all volunteers in paddocks along fence lines and irrigation ditches. Property and land destruction through fire, flood or storms can lead to opportunities for pests and weeds to flourish and for feral animals to easily gain entry to your property. As supplies of feed may be limited after major events like fire, try to ensure that animal feed brought in is certified to be free from weed seeds. Alternatively, where possible, purchase locally grown feed to minimise the risk of introducing new types of weeds from another district. Monitor the areas where you supplementary feed animals to detect and contain diseases, pests and weeds. It's important to integrate the biosecurity into your whole farm planning so when you're going out to do things that everything is integrated and it all helps your biosecurity if you've got uh, everything else working well. Whether it's your paddock management or your fencing or anything else, if they're complementary the biosecurity ends up getting done. If you've got to do something special for your biosecurity, it tends to get left aside, left alone, not, not given emphasis. You are the most likely person to notice changes in the health of your crops and livestock, so use the simple biosecurity measures in this video to secure your farm and secure your future. For more information, visit the Farm Biosecurity website at farmbiosecurity.com.au. If you see anything unusual on your property, 
Call the Emergency Animal Disease Watch hotline on 1800 675 888 or the Exotic Plant Pest hotline on 1800 084 881.